What's good, everybody? Welcome to the underground. And stuck in my ways, huh? That project did not take him to the mainstream, now did it? But you know what? Let's talk about it. That's a big cut, cut after cut. That's a big uh, uh after uh. The whip change, yeah, bitch, what a shame. Which one is playing games? Now, if you didn't watch my last video on Summers, which you should, I talked about how Stuck in My Ways could potentially be the project that takes Summers to the mainstream, considering his recent deal he had just signed with 10K Projects. I really thought 10K would be a great fit for Summers, as 10K really is big on letting their artists have creative freedom, and well, for someone who came up independent for virtually his entire career, it makes sense that Summers would want a label who isn't going to hold him down too much. However, when Stuck in My Ways did drop, the first thing that came to my mind is, it's a fine project, but not going mainstream. And I don't mean this is necessarily a bad thing, I've said it before, I'll say it again, Summers just has a very niche sound, and I think he was actually right on the nose with this story post. He wrote, so send me that hard turnt shit, that's how I'm coming next album, cause that seemed to be all want, and this is the right move by Summers in my opinion. From a strictly mainstream point of view, Summers on a glow type beat is gonna perform significantly better than Summers on a plug and B type beat, just because, I'm gonna use the word again, plug and B is such a niche genre. But either way, I think part of the blame should fall on 10K projects as, let's be real here, they didn't do their job when it comes to marketing. The label clearly spent a lot of money on signing Summers, I mean, the guy was able to buy a Maybach in cash right after signing, but how many playlist placements have I seen since the release of this project? Zero. How many big features did Summers have on this project to maybe hype it up a little more? Zero. What is the biggest piece of promotion 10k projects has done the hype up stuck in my ways? Summers was featured on Trippy Red's new album, and Trippy Red didn't feature on Summers' album. Okay, for all I know, Summers didn't want any big features on his project. I'm not an insider, but his reaction to the performance of Stuck in My Ways, I mean guy, come on. Now don't get me wrong, it's okay to set a goal for yourself. If anything, it's probably a good thing. I set a goal for myself in 2023 to hit 5,000 subscribers, and you know what? I think it's pretty reasonable, all things considered. That means subscribe if you haven't yet. But I really do think it's important that, when setting a goal, you gotta be ready for failure. This is obvious, but sometimes life isn't fair and things don't go your way. People I have respect for, when they win, they're gracious winners, they're humble, and when they lose, their attitude stays the same. And granted, yes, we're talking about hip-hop here, people are gonna be flexing, etc, etc, but I'm gonna drop the line that a lot of artists need to hear. Hey, come here, come closer. Guess what? You're not Cardi. And when I'm saying this to Summers, I'm not even talking about how often he drops. Summers actually drops a lot more consistently than a lot of other artists. What I'm saying that is Summers needs to recognize his position. He's an underground artist. He hasn't broken into the mainstream yet. He really hasn't had a mainstream hit. So when his project doesn't go number one when going against SZA, Drake, 21 Savage, dude, it's okay. You're gonna be okay. Seriously, someone needs to tell Summers this because if you've looked at his Instagram story for the past week, it's been nothing but negativity. And granted, there may be other factors playing a role in this situation, as yesterday, Summers quickly posted and then deleted a picture of himself committing self-harm. We obviously don't know everything about Summers' personal life, but it does seem a lot of this negativity is stemming from the performance of Stuck in My Ways. But in my opinion, and this is something I struggle with too, Summers needs to focus less on the numbers and more on the music itself. Now, obviously, he can't just just let his career fall apart, but I really do think that if Summers focuses more on making music that he enjoys and is passionate about, rather than exactly how well his projects are performing, he's overall going to be a lot happier, and I think that when listening to his music, his audience is going to be able to tell. But that's all I got on the Summers situation. Be sure to let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys agree with me on why Stuck in My Ways flopped, or was I completely wrong? Remember, I'll give you a shout out in the next video. Like and subscribe with those notifications on so you guys know when I'm live. Thank you all so much for for the support. Take it easy, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.